so hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to combine a multiple uh, layers into a single layer using rgis pro so now let's get started so in the table of contents section we have two different layers the first layer is usa and followed by the second layer is alaska usa so you can able to see the first layer which is indicated in green color and the second layer which is indicated in the gray color so now we're gonna combine this two vector layer into a single uh, layer using the merge tool in rgis pro to create a new uh, single vector layer so now i'm gonna navigate to this option called analysis section and in that i'm gonna select this and from here i'm gonna navigate to this option called the tools gallery so i'm gonna click this option to expand more tools and this particular tool uh, combines the multiple uh, input layers into a single uh, new output layer so you're gonna click this option called merge so you can go through the definition of this particular tool combines the multiple input data set into a single new output data set so this tool can combine point line or a polygon feature classes or tables so now a new window pop up saying geoprocessing so this is our merge tool so now in the parameter section we have this option called input data set so the input data set uh, must be of same uh, geometry which means so for example polygon and polygons so and then now in the input uh, data set i'm going to select usa and also in the second uh, row i'm going to select uh, alaska usa and now in the next section we have the output data set where you could like to save this file so i'm going to navigate to the folder location where i could like to save this file so now I have navigated to my folder location where you could like to save this file. So we're going to enter the name as Merge USA Alaska. So once you entered the name, I'm going to click OK. So in the next option is Field Matching Mode. So you can go through the details about this particular uh, field, uh, this particular option. So it automatically generates the fields uh, consolidated from all inputs. The fields of the same name will be automatically mapped together in the output field, in the output. The fields that are unique to uh, to the input will be uh, retained in the output. This is the default. So now we're going to select this first option called automatically generate the field consolidated from all inputs. So in the next uh, step, we're going to use this uh, other option called use the field map to reconcile the field difference. So now we're going to select this part of uh, first one that is automatically generate the fields consolidated from all inputs. So now we're going to click this option called run. So now a new layer has appeared here, so you can able to see the Merge USA Alaska. So I'm going to change the color using the left key in my mouse. So I'm going to select the desired color of my choice. So it is our new layer which appears in our content pane. So you can able to see the Merge USA Alaska. So the Merge tool appears to be successful, placing uh, all features, uh, all of the features from from the two input layers that is USA and Alaska USA. So in the next step uh, we're going to check how the attributes are merged. So we're going to navigate the USA layer. I'm going to right click and click this option called attribute. So these are the following fields inside the USA layer. So you can able to see we have the name geo ID and the field uh, land and water. So uh, I'm going to similarly I'm going to navigate this layer called Merge USA Alaska. I'm going to right click and click this option called Attribute Table. So it basically retained all the similar fields here. So you can able to see the similar fields which includes uh, the state FP, the country FP and the geo ID and the name. So you can compare with uh, this particular layer here. And also we can open the third layer Attribute Table. So Alaska USA. I'm going to right click and click this option called attribute table. So in this uh, layer, we have the similar fields like GeoID and name and land and water. So all the similar and the unique field IDs are retained in the Merge USA Alaska. So you can able to see from both the layers, Alaska USA as well as the USA layer. So from the attribute table of USA and Alaska, so both the attribute table has a similar fields. You can able to see here. So now let me navigate the geoprocessing section here. So now again begin to navigate the field matching mode here for the merge tool. 
So now we're going to select uh, this particular option called. So now we're going to select this particular option called use field map to uh, re uh, reconcile field difference. So we're going to select this particular option called use the field map to reconcile the field difference. So the field map uh, will help you control uh, how the attributes are merged. So now we're going to click this option called edit. So now a new window pop up saying field, field properties. So in this window, we're going to select this particular field called uh, state FP and uh, the label, uh, the two label here tells you that uh, there are the two uh, source fields uh, contributing to this uh, output field and the information under the table section here, which tells you that both uh, input layers have uh, have the field uh, named uh, called uh, state FP and the contents of uh, these two uh, fields uh, will be merged into a new field in the output layer and uh, you can ch change the name of this particular uh, output field here for example you can uh, change the name of this particular field name so you can change the field name as well as the allies here as well as you can change the name uh, in the allies section too so you're going to enter as new state so in the all the fields uh, you can able to see all the uh, fields has a two source fields which is indicated by the label 2 in case uh, some fields may have a uh, only one source which will be indicated in as a one here and also uh, to remove this particular field for example uh, for example this particular field called uh, geo id aff geo id so to remove this particular field uh, we're going to click this option called remove so now the field got removed and uh, you can go through the other uh, options that is available here for example action and source fields and we have another uh, section called search here so you can select a variety of different options that is available in this field so once you perform the necessary uh, actions uh, next i'm gonna click ok so now the field map has been uh, configured so you can able to see from here the aff GUID has been removed from here so now we can rerun this merge tool again. So in the output field, I'm going to mention that's a merge USA Alaska one. And leave the this particular option as the default. Add source information to the output. Leave it as a default. So now I'm going to click this option called run. So now we have this new layer called US uh, merge USA Alaska one. So we're going to change the color of this particular layer. So now I have changed the color of Merge USA Alaska 1. And now open the attribute table of uh, Merge USA Alaska 1 to confirm that it contains features from both the uh, input layers and uh, that the field were merged correctly. So now let me navigate, uh, let me close this. So let me navigate to Merge USA Alaska 1. I'm going to right click this and click this option called Attribute Table. And now here you can able to visualize we have all the field uh, from the both the layers from uh, USA layer as well as the Alaska layer. We have all the fields from this both layers USA and Alaska USA layers. So uh, for example the Geo ID, the country FP and country uh, NC and uh, ALAND and name. So let me close this. So in this video I have shown you how to combine a multiple vector layer into a single layer using merge tool in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.